So here's the third one that I'm printing at a 350 multiplier, percent multiplier, so 3.5 times multiplier with the uh, speeds for the print, the main print at 100 and infill at 100. So assuming there's no limit in the firmware, this should be 350 millimeters per second. And just for giggles, I'm gonna go crazy and speed it up to 400. Okay, that's 400. And I think I hit a limit in the firmware because that doesn't really seem any faster to me. Heck, let's go for 500. Okay, that's a 500% or 5 times multiplier of 100 and Ah, the infill is getting pretty crappy now. See right there, it's not filling in too well. And just the giggles dial it back down to 350 and see if that fixes. Okay, that's supposed to be 350. looks a lot better. So maybe it was really 500 and I just have to increase the uh, yeah, it's fixed in that spot but it's a 40% infill and probably a little bit overkill for the for the uh, carriages but this is my Probably my fourth design for carriages. This one happens to be for 12 millimeter round um, disc magnets, the ones I'm using currently. I'm uh, probably the third generation I did of um, 3 8 round magnets, which are approximately 9 millimeters. And you can see that compared to the 10 millimeter magnetic ball, a little bit smaller. Um, my end effector here I already did with the 12 millimeter magnets. It pumps really well. You also note that I've got you know rubber band and springs and hooks on that one. Um, that's because the 9 millimeter 3 8 ones weren't holding well enough. They kept popping off. That's what I had. That was my first one. I added the, the hooks and the rubber bands for extra tension. So. I don't need it with the 12 millimeter ones, even when I'm pushing the printer really extreme. Unless I get a lift and it gets caught, then they will get popped off. Um, you can also see that this effector is actually designed for the E3D V6. Um, I've got an E3D V6 clone on here, hence the, the press fitting on the top instead of having it built in. So, other than that, physically, it looks identical to an E3D V6, except that you, the genuine one's got the blue leads um, for the heating element, and the, the actual hard metal leads coming off the heating element are much stiffer than the ones in the heating element on the clone. So the E3D V6 probably has a, a much higher wattage uh, heating element. I haven't compared them or measured them. I probably will do in a, another video. but. Other than that, it seems to perform pretty well. Let's see if it fixed. Eh, mostly. It seems to recover most of that infill. There we go. Now it's covering it up. So, at 350 multiplier, um, and slicer, well, Cura is configured for. 100 millimeter per second print speed, 122 infill, and outer perimeter is 64. So three and a half times that would make a three. Oh, my brain is not working. 300, three times two, 600. 
Well, that would make almost like 400 something infill rate. And the general prince breed should be 350. And all the raspy noise here is these Chintonis linear bearings. They work, they just make noise. They don't really, I haven't noticed any noticeable slop on them. Oh, look at that. We got a layer shift there. So, noticeable degradation quality on this one. That's probably when I pushed it up to, tried to push it to 500. Or five times won't fire, you know? So, yeah, this would be a good experiment anyways. And you can see the, the lower quality on the top layer there. So, maybe if I adjusted the, uh, the jerk settings and whatnot, I could help illuminate some of that, but I'm still impressed with the speed I can get out of it, you know? Granted, I'm not going to be dialing it up this fast to get the high quality parts, just uh, I like being able to print something a lot quicker than I could have done before. And this is basically all possible because I'm on a on a uh, Arduino Due or however the heck you say it now. Um, 32 bit controller and this is with a RAJ 1.5 um, board and the XYZ steppers have the TI 88 is it 45 I think it is the 132nd micro stepping um, the extruder I just have a plain old 4855 whatever it is because it's a geared extruder and a planetary geared I don't need 30 second stepping there so, yeah, it runs pretty smooth, runs pretty quick. I like it. I'm still uh, getting it dialed in, you know, because I keep changing things like my magnetic attachment system, kind of uh, refining it, getting it even tuned in better. But um, I like it so far. You know, one of these days maybe I'll stop making updates for my printer and start printing real things. And, uh, one last thing before I run out of time. See these LEDs in the here? That sandwiched in between the blue part and the acrylic is my force sensitive resistor. And I have an FSR controller hidden down in there from Tri 3D printing. And each sensor has an LED indicator. So I put them through the, the plate. And that's actually what holds my plate in place besides these screws just actually tapping the plate.